Hey everyone, my name is Paul, and I'm bringing you the first day of our five-day hymn devotional. The hymn that we're going to focus on today is Holy, 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 so let's check it out. This hymn was written by Reginald Heber in 1826. Reginald in his lifetime wrote 57 hymns, this one being one of his best. The words evoke a sense of awe at the majesty of God and call on all of creation, humans and everything living to praise God, just like in Psalm, which this hymn points to. Psalm 143.8 says, Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. And Psalm 63, 1 says, O God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. The thing I love about this hymn is the words, Early in the morning my soul will rise to you. Now, I'm not a morning person, but I've recognized that since I've adjusted my routine and have been intentional about putting God first and exalting Him, that my day is completely different. I'm more joyful. I'm more patient with my kids, more creative. My outlook on the day has completely shifted. My confidence is stronger because I'm remembering in those moments who God says I am and the promises He's given me. Much like the promise of on the third day, Jesus will be raised. Or in John 3, 16, for whosoever believes in you shall not perish. How unique is it that we have a God that would go so far to sacrifice his son so that we may have a free and everlasting life in him. Our prayer for you is that you would be free from any guilt and shame in your past and feel free to experience the amazing, unreasonable, and unbelievable grace and love of God. 
I hope this hymn has blessed you today as much as it has blessed me. This great reminder of God's love for us and what He did for us through the death and resurrection of Jesus is something that we should always strive to keep close to our hearts. God bless you and have an incredible day and a very happy Easter.